Thank you very much for being with us. Please tell me your name and what do you do? So my name is Carl Runefeld and I make uh, content online about crypto, about Bitcoin on YouTube and Twitter. I have uh, a million followers across these uh, platforms and uh, make yeah daily content. But you are known uh, with a different handle on Riot. Yeah, so uh, my YouTube channel is called The Moon and I'm also known as The Moon over on Twitter. On Instagram, I'm Carl Runefeld. How did you get uh, into, into crypto? Well, if I were to start from the very, very beginning, <laughs> I was working in a grocery store in Sweden and I, um, I was just having like a normal life. And I decided when I was working there that I wanted to make something good. I wanted to uh, become successful and rich. I wanted to travel the world. So I started to uh, change my mindset. I just um, started to visualize my dreams. I started to visualize flying private jets, visualizing just like abundance, money, yachts and traveling. And um, I started to just get more in tune to that, uh, that future that I thought was going to happen to me. So I, I started to believe in this future and um, everything just changed. Uh, I started to look for opportunities, I found opportunities, I grabbed opportunities and eventually I found Bitcoin and I realized that this is what I'm going to do, I have passion for Bitcoin and um, but yeah it, start, it all started with like a mindset shift and me just deciding that I am going to be successful and I had no clue with what but I just knew that I will be successful and I'll just let the universe tell me what I'm going to do. And uh, as you started doing what you were doing was it working right away and did you have a million followers uh, uh, the next day? Or if not, how did it uh, develop? Yeah, so in the beginning, or before I went into crypto, I actually tied, I tried a couple of other businesses. I tried to do e-commerce, selling things online, but I didn't really feel any passion for it, so I, I quickly stopped. And then for, for a few weeks or so, I kind of didn't know what to do. But I was researching about Bitcoin uh, parallel with this e-com stuff. And um, eventually I thought maybe I can start a YouTube channel with crypto, uh, learn more about crypto and teach people about crypto. And then I can sell uh, like t-shirts with Bitcoin on it because I had this like e-commerce uh, think about it. So I started the YouTube channel and I started making videos. And eventually I just had so much fun making the videos itself that I forgot about the whole monetization thing. I didn't really care about selling stuff anymore. I just wanted to make these videos because it was, it was so much fun. And um, I made zero money for the first six, seven months of uh, YouTube because you have to activate the uh, monetization and yeah. I, I couldn't do that. So it took some time for that. And I just realized that I found my passion and then it just grew from there. So it was on, on one hand, your ability to be resilient and go through work through failure with e-commerce that mm. just didn't work out. On the other hand, it was also that when you recognized uh, the passion and the talent being aligned, that it clicked. You, mm. you just felt it was, it was right. Yeah. So a lot of people who invest uh, uh, in, in, in YouTube feel ambivalent about what they can do and what their followers pretend they should be doing. Mm. How do you resolve that tension? Do you feel autonomy and self-empowerment or do you feel exposed and, and beholden to your followers? I think that I, what, I, what I do on YouTube and Twitter, I just do basically what I would want to watch myself. I always just try to make um, content that I, I would enjoy watching myself. And I also, I can always see what people enjoy watching and what they don't enjoy watching. You can see the likes, if they go up or down. So if I make a tweet that only gets like 100 likes, then I'm just never going to tweet like that again because I know that people don't like that tweet. Mm -hmm. uh, if, I'm, if I get a tweet that got 3,000 or 5,000 likes, then now I know this is something that people enjoy. So I'll just make more of that. Basically, I take a successful tweet and then I can remodel it and I can make 10 other tweets out of it and, and post that over the next few months. Basically, I just try to take proven concepts and just remodel them and, and recycle them. And it can also be from other uh, influencers. I, I can get inspired by someone. If I see someone that made a tweet that got 5,000 likes, then I'll think, wow, that's cool. I'll just uh, take the essence of this. I'll uh, maybe change uh, a few things so it's not the same tweet, but it's the same kind of like why did people like it? Was it because it was a positive tweet? Was it because people like this specific coin? 
or whatever. I tried to find out why they liked it and then I just used that in another tweet from, on my uh, post. What was that attracted you about uh, Bitcoin at the beginning and did it stay the same or did it evolve uh, in time? So before Bitcoin, I actually, when I was working in the grocery store, actually, I was researching a lot about, Bit, uh, about gold and silver and the monetary system, about the Federal Reserve System. So when I heard about Bitcoin, I already had the kind of backstory that you need to understand the value of Bitcoin. I understood the inflation and the corrupt banking system and how that is a bad way of uh, handling money. So I knew that gold is a better form of money than uh, fiat and I understood as soon as I heard about Bitcoin that Bitcoin is better than gold so I just it for me it was very obvious at the first like one hour of research that this is absolutely a fantastic idea and in the next few weeks after hearing about Bitcoin I, I was completely convinced so your life changed and uh, you represent a, a wonderful success story do you think you can also be an inspiration for others to follow what you did? Yeah, so back when I was uh, not successful, I was following many successful people online, could be Instagram, YouTube, and they were always talking about mindset and they were talking about, um, you know, these, uh, and also just showing, showing off their yachts and jets. And for me, I get inspired by that. Some people, they, they will get angry when they see someone show off stuff, but I really, liked it seeing um, like these people walk around with these expensive clothes and watches and you know just being successful and they did something that they enjoyed they 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 became they became successful and they they deserved it so i was like wow this is so cool i want to do the same so now that i am successful i try to kind of return the favor to other people out there by showing people how i'm flying private jets showing people how i'm traveling the world and how i'm talking about Bitcoin and crypto, because I know that there will be many people out there that will be very inspired by it, especially because I went from grocery store to a multimillionaire in just like two years. So I know that I can inspire people to, to understand that it is possible. This, uh, this lifestyle is not something that only happens to people in the movies or something. Like it's actually like anyone can do it and it can happen very fast if you just switch your mindset. So that is a wonderful uh, inspiration for many and it will for sure generate other people who will be successful through it. Where do you see yourself in five years or ten years? What is the kind of mindset that now you are learning to acquire that will bring you there? Yeah, so I mean, I already did the hard part, going from zero to where I am now. I think that was kind of the, the, the hard part. Now I already have the momentum, I know how to use my mindset. So, I mean, I think that the, the toughest step is to go from an average salary of $2,000 per month to like 5,000 or 10,000. That's, that's the hard part because you have to realize that the mind, you have to change your mindset, you have to change your whole way of thinking. Uh, but as soon as you have the way of thinking, I think that any other goal above that is just a natural progression. So as soon as I made $10,000 a month, I knew that, okay, the next goal is gonna be 50,000, the next goal 300,000. And um, the same is now, like I, I have new goals. It's not only about money though, it's also like friendship goals, it's about relationship goals and like happiness and well-being. But if I focus more on the, 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 um, the success now, like, uh, or the, the money, like I wanna have my own companies. I, I am already starting up uh, companies now and I wanna have like X amount of employees and I wanna have like a good structure. And um, Are these initiatives, uh, uh around Bitcoin or blockchain yeah. as well? Yeah, it's all crypto. Okay, and uh, where can people find out more about them? It would be natural for them to feel that uh, the tenacity that you put in the, the first part mm -hmm. uh, will reflect on the probability of the success of the other part as well. So how can they either find out or participate in your new projects? Yeah, so the first uh, company is called Bitcoin Census. So bitcoincensus.com. There's also a YouTube channel connected to it where uh, we are comparing uh, crypto exchanges against each other, comparing fees so people can uh, choose the best exchange that, that suits them. And then uh, we just started a, uh, another company right now called Casta where we're, we're having a centralized peer-to-peer -peer payments with crypto. So people on a peer-to-peer -peer basis can pay zero fees when they send money between each other. So if you send a dollar or five dollars of Bitcoin, if you use on-chain transactions, you cannot 
send it because the, the transaction fee would be too high. But uh, in this way, uh, people can actually send money between each other. And also wealth management, they can make uh, interest on their deposits. And uh, there's going to be a whole variety of um, cool things lined up, crypto card and, uh, and whatnot. But it's not launched yet, but it is going to come up very, very soon. And um, it's casta.io, so K-A-S-T-A dot I-O. Well, thank you very much and good luck with uh, these new initiatives as well as the evolution of your mindset from success to friendship to uh, building uh, uh, a solid future. Mm -hmm. Thank you.